Hi Taurus, it's thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing really, really well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus. We will look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a couple of Oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so for the awareness of the week, we have the Knight of Swords. We have the King of Wands. So with these two court cards, they bring two different approaches for you to be aware of and how you're handling situations. The Knight of Swords is, you know, what you see here is he has full helmet on, his sword is raised, and he is moving right in through the clouds, the dirt, through the dust, into battle, into a situation, and this knight's approach is going to be based on smarts, logic, reason, intelligence, sticking to the facts, uh, looking for the truth within a situation, and doing what's fair or what's right. Often, you know, once we get involved, you know, we learn more truth about a situation, and so it's really, it's a sense of dealing with whatever comes your way in a clear, straightforward manner where you are focused on what's really happening, what you see, um, instead of relying on emotions or things like that. So look for the truth, be advised, look at an issue from all sides if something comes up this week. So then we have the King of Wands. And the King of Wands has become successful by virtue of his desire to do it all. Dynamic energy, charismatic, um, a mover and a shaker. Someone who can dominate a gathering. So it's a way to put your personal energy on display. It's a way to take control, to take action, to be very aware of your own personal power. The King of Wands is looking for opportunities, for business, for activities that excite him, that are making him feel enthusiastic, and not settling for anything less. So as you go through your week and you handle situations that might require some understanding of issues, complex issues, you're going to use your smarts, you're going to use your intelligence. But there's also this piece of not to let go of your passions. Also include your passions. Let your passion, your desire, and your ability to do things, you know, come to the forefront. King of Watch, wa the King of Wands is about action, taking action, taking charge. Okay, so in terms of guidance, we have the Ten of Swords and we have the Empress, the Major Arcana. So the Ten of Swords, you see, it looks like the woman here who has these ten glistening swords in her back. And it's really a card of where you are. You've either reached the bottom, you've had a hard way to go, you've had a struggle, some adversity, and you feel overwhelmed, you feel that you can't go any further. Perhaps it's a point of exhaustion or collapse. The silver lining with the Ten of Swords is that you really have to think about that be beyond this, there's a chance here for a new beginning, a new opportunity. This is a Ten of Swords, so this is, this is the end of this road. The adversity or the struggle will be over, and you're gonna have a chance to, you know, look at things in a different way, perhaps. Doesn't mean that you're not going to feel the residual pain or the, the hurt of either a loss or a betrayal or something, but that, you know, this is as bad as it's going to get and you're going to be able to handle it, you know, one step at a time. Think of the sun always rises the next day and you're going to greet the day and try to move past this. So I think with this Ten of Swords, here we have the Empress. And the Empress is, she's loving and she's compassionate. So she's like bringing the heart and the soul to whatever you may be feeling here. The Empress is about, uh, again, 
being aware of the abundance of life, being aware of the goodness and the resources of life and appreciating it, appreciating the comfort. And not only the physical abundance, but it's the emotional abundance well. Love, consideration, compassion, caring, caring for all creatures, great and small. And so here's a sense of love and support. If you're having a tough way to go, and this empress could be someone who's like a mother figure within your life, could be someone who is wise and experienced and generally calm demeanor, and will understand maybe what you're going through and can assist. So interesting that we have a lot of people in this reading who are here to provide certain types of styles, certain types of attributes. This empress wants you to manifest, wants you to be creative, wants to take your ideas to fruition, the fertility of new ideas, of nurturing the seeds. There's some nurturing that she's more than happy to do. And so you may benefit from an energy of someone who is providing comfort. So interesting, we have the Two of Swords, we have the Seven of Wands in terms of possible outcomes. Two of Swords is often uh, it's a place where we're crossing our heart and we're closing our eyes or we're blindfolded and we're either we're not willing to deal with the truth at this time. We may feel that we're at a crossroads or that we're, we're at an impasse where we can't make a decision. And so we defer it or we pretend that it's not there so we don't have to make that decision. And, you know, ultimately you may have to, to make that decision. Maybe now is not the right time. Maybe now you just need to recover from the Ten of Wands and you need to allow yourself to be nurtured. And if you want to just keep things um, out of sight, you know, then that's okay. Ultimately, you'll be ready to open your eyes, you know, open your chest, move, remove those swords, and to problem solve it. So here's the, the Two of Swords of feeling at an impasse, feeling stagnant, feeling that you uh, just can't deal with an, a matter right now. And then we have the Seven of Wands again. It's a protective, defensive energy, protecting yourself from those below. You're on the higher ground here. You do have the advantage. And it's a matter of taking care of you. And so this might be a very strong message, which is the Empress is here to provide you comfort. And the Seven of Wands is saying, protect yourself, put your interests first, take care of you first. And so taking action, being mindful, understanding all the issues, coming out of a situation that was difficult and challenging and adverse. Allow yourself to have support and more importantly, protect your interests. Look after yourself. And if that means not dealing with certain things right now, that's okay. You know, interesting, interesting cards. We look to these cards for guidance. We look for strategies, things to help us cope things to help us deal with the less than perfect situations. And so, you know, protecting yourself, putting yourself first, I really get a sense of this, particularly after the Ten of Swords. So let's see what we have in terms of a affirmation for the week. And I've chosen a pretty straightforward, simple Oracle deck with, with practical messages. Interesting, career transition. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. So 
the transition and the movement can come from challenging times. And it can come from self-evaluation and from looking at whether your purpose is not, whether it's being served or not. And from that, we make changes. So let's choose a card for love and we'll see what we have in terms of love. Self-love, you realize that love of self is necessary to love another. It is important and to love yourself and to pay attention to how you're feeling, what you're going through, um, making yourself a priority. And again, I feel that this is taking care of yourself. Protecting yourself is your, is your number one priority for this week is to take care of yourself. This is what I have for you for the week. I hope that you found something helpful with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, comment below. I hope you have a wonderful week and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.